Have we let China off the hook? Yes, I think so. And I think that's been the case prior to this entire Russian invasion of Ukraine kicking off. It's a point that I've brought up many times over the past two years that it was really striking me as odd how much people, how quickly people seem to forget about where the entire COVID situation began and the absence of questions around certain things. I mean, for example, the country of China officially, over the course of the entire past two years, only logged, I think, around 5,000 5, COVID deaths, which given a population of over 1.3 million people and it being the epicenter of the viral outbreak with Wuhan, there's a lot of questions about that, and it seems like everybody just ignored it. How did the virus even originate? Was it something that was leaked from a lab? Was it intentional? Was it not intentional? It was certainly covered up and lied about for a while, and there haven't been enough questions and inquiries into this. Did the U.S. government via the NIH and the gain-of-function research, was that something that was potentially funded by the U.S. taxpayers, which even led to the creation or the formation of the virus itself? I don't know, but these are possibilities. These are questions. These are things that are on the table. And then beyond that, of course, there are other actions that the CCP government has, has taken. There's the entire situation that's been running for years with the Uyghur Muslim minority a uh, population which is not talked about very much, or if it is, it tends to be glossed over. So I think there are a lot of things that are going on, and I think that what happens oftentimes with both social media and mainstream media is everybody's attention gets redirected and focused very quickly on one thing, and then they very quickly forget about everything else. So while, of course, there should be a lot of attention and talk and focus on the situation that is transpiring in Ukraine, I think it's important that people think on a more holistic level and think about some of the things that are not being discussed. And what really worries me, Zuby, is that we seem to be in the West giving up those important values, especially freedom. Look at what's happened in New Zealand under uh, the uh, Kiwi Mussolini, Jacinda Ardern. You've also got Justin Trudeau in Canada. The West is giving up principles like freedom, which, as you've mm. said in an interview earlier this week, is what is special about the West, those values. And we seem to have imported Chinese values, in particular, state control. Yeah, I think... Look, if we're going to, we, we're, we are speaking as Westerners, and I think that if Western individuals and leaders in particular are going to be talking publicly about concepts such as freedom and liberty and upholding democracy and so on, it's very important that they are not hypocritical on these issues. So it's, I have to be honest, it is strange seeing some of these leaders who have thrown these ideas out of the window for the past two years when it comes to their own citizens going out there and wanting to condemn and lecture other nations and other leaders and then start talking about liberty and freedom and these sorts of things when they've done a very poor job of upholding it. And this is another reason why I've been making some of the points I have been over the last couple of years. It wasn't simply about, you know, COVID or a pandemic situation. It's more about if we have these values and these principles and we believe that these are truly important, then we can't just jettison them as soon as there is some sort of threat, whether it is real, exaggerated, or imaginary. Otherwise, I mean, if, if you have yeah. principles and you only uphold them when it's easy to do so, then they're not really principles at all. So I think it's put a lot of people on this very shaky ground now. And I think even now with what's going on, we have some information but the, the situation is is complex and it's evolving. There's a lot of history here. I am myself. I'm not going to pretend that I have all of the solutions and I know everything that's going on because I don't. And there's a lot about the situation I don't I don't truly understand. But I think that we should all be striving towards the truth and striving towards these conversations. And if we don't have all the answers, at least be asking certain questions.